Hello and welcome to Sienna Saints Weekly. I'm Chelsea Brummagen here to bring you all the action from this week's games. Let's start off by answering last week's trivia question. We want to know who the last player on the women's soccer team was to record three consecutive shutouts. And the answer to that one was Noelle Cox. Congrats to Aaron Kelly for getting that one right. And if you couldn't get that one, don't worry, we'll have another chance for you later on in the show. So now let's get to the action with this week's Game of the Week. Again, we head to the volleyball court for a crosstown match against New Albany. Head coach Garvey Pierre looking for his first win over the Great Danes. Taylor Akana starting things off right with a solid kill. That's one of her 20 on the day. And later in the match, Akana gets up again, and the Danes try to get control, but they just can't do it. All right, so it's match point now, and Leslie Akeo serves it up. Albany trying to hang on here, but they send it back over, and Sarah Severson tips it over, and that is it. The Saints beat the Danes for the first time in 12 years. And some other games happening this week. Ivy Spates got those highlights. Volleyball looking for another win this week, taking on struggling Maris, and it wasn't as easy as expected. Marissa Gilbert helps the Red Foxes take the second set to tie the match at one. And it wouldn't stop there. Mackenzie Stevens with the kill here. Maris up 2-1 and shockingly looking for the win. But then Colleen Ahern took over. She had five kills in the fourth, going into the decisive fifth set, and she followed it up with four more. And Sienna survives the upset scare against Maris. They're now 4-2 in the match. Cross country also in action this weekend, their only local race of the year in the U Albany Invitational. Women started first running against three other teams. Chrissy McFarlane was the first Saint across the finish line. Molly McGuire edged out her opponent right here to finish right behind her. Top five finishers ran nearly two minutes faster than last year, showing the strides of the program. I can definitely see improvements in the team from even the first race. I think everybody had a strong effort today. Um, right at the end, my teammate Molly McGuire Got to give a shout out to her because she did awesome. She cut, beat a girl out right at the end, and it's that competitive nature and that drive that's going to keep our team improving. Then also lacing up in the same race, Ryan Egan would be the top finisher for the Saints, third overall, and just 31 seconds from the individual champion. As a team, Sienna finished right behind you, Albany, who was the host and the champion. And we have a ticker running at the bottom of the screen with all the Saints scores from the week, so be sure to take a look down there for your favorite score. Now we've all heard the NCAA phrase, athletes go pro in something other than sports. But what are Sienna athletes doing when they're not prepping for their next competition? Senior golfer Megan Cahill spent her summer doing something new in a very unique place. For most NCAA Division I golfers, summer is the perfect time to hit the links and practice for next year. But Sienna senior Megan Cahill spent her summer preparing for a different part of her future. She traveled across the world to Sydney, Australia, where she interned for Haystack, a PR firm. While she was there, she got her first glimpse of what a career in PR will be like. I kind of did every aspect of PR. I would capture coverage of press releases we sent out for our clients. I put together press kits that would go out to the media. Um, I did a lot of brainstorming for new clients. Megan said that her summer confirmed that PR was the right career for her, but her best memory didn't happen in the workplace. My biggest thing was when I flew up to Cairns and I went bungee jumping in the oldest rainforest in the world. I went scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Now Megan did spend some time in Australia during primetime golf season, but she did have some time to come back in August and get ready for her senior year. But lucky for her, golf is one of the sports that you can do your whole life, and she definitely plans to keep on going. I may not play in as many competitions as I do now uh, throughout the summer and I mean, obviously during the school year. I just enjoy being out on the course, put my music in and just go out there and play, have fun and just do it for me, not for any competition. Between golf and a career in PR, Megan's future is sure to be a hole in one. <laughs> Chelsea Brummagen, SCTV Sports. Now it's your turn to be a part of the action with our Saints trivia question. Earlier in the show, you saw the highlights from volleyball's emotional win over U Albany. But do you know what Sienna team currently has the longest unbeaten streak against the Danes? Do you think you know? Post your answer on our Facebook page. So that's all for this edition of Sienna Saints Weekly. Here's a look at our home games next week. Men's soccer is playing St. Peter's on Friday and Manhattan on Sunday. And then on the road, women's soccer playing defending champs Maris. Volleyball has a rematch against rivals Fairfield, and field hockey starts their Northeastern Conference opener. And of course, we'll have all those results for you on next week's show. For now, I'm Chelsea Brummagen. Go Saints! We love